15 Amazing and Best Ways to Brew Coffee Coffee seems to be taking the world by storm these past few years, and everyone seems to be asking what the best way to brew good coffee is. So today, we're going to take a look at how many different ways there really are to brew coffee. Let's get started. 1. Coffee the Turkish Way Turkish coffee is a little-known secret among coffee connoisseur and those in the know. Called kave in Turkish, this way of brewing coffee uses an open flame, where the carefully and fine grounds are boiled, often twice, they add a little bit of cinnamon and cardamom. 2. Brewing with concentrate. This way of brewing coffee uses a minimal amount of water when brewing, but a good deal of coffee grinds. By doing so, the result is a concentrated and incredibly strong form of coffee. It's a fresh drink that isn't too heavy, has light acid, and a smoother mouthfeel than most coffees. 3. Percolating your coffee. Another, different way of brewing your coffee is to try percolating. By brewing the grinds with boiling water, but without ever stopping the heat, you get a super bitter, tar-like coffee that isn't thick. 4. Using auto drip. A simple, quality filter is used to hold the grounds while hot water is poured on top. The rest is a slow drip of delicious coffee. Most auto drip machines don't consider or have a way of setting temperature, results in a cup that is less than perfect, though still drinkable. 5. Trying out a French press. Using a medium coarse grind, you place your grounds inside the French press, while heating water to a boil on the stove in a tea kettle or even a pot. Once boiling, you pour the water in, push down on the plunger, and the metal filter keeps the grinds at the bottom of the pot. 6. A raving trend of cold brew. Cold brew is exactly what it sounds like. Coffee grounds are brewed in cold water for 12 to 24 hours, and then the grinds are filtered out using a very fine filter. This brew is a great way to get a silky, almost chocolatey cup. 7. Chemex isn't as odd as it sounds. This method isn't as well known in the coffee world just yet, but makes a good brew. Made in a special decanter called a Chemex, with a unique shape and certain filters, Chemex removes many oils from coffee, some of which may be bad for cholesterol. While this method remains healthy. 8. The Timeless Americano. Born in wartime Italy, some more novice coffee drinkers are sometimes under the impression that this drink doesn't differ from a regular auto drip. With its own feel and consistency, the Americano is a tasty coffee in its own right. 9. The Extravagant Vacuum Pot. Another lesser known way of brewing coffee is using a vacuum pot. While this trend is still catching on, the brew it produces is very unique and incredibly mellow in flavor. Higher in caffeine content, it uses a vacuum to siphon brew your cup of coffee. You have to see it to believe it. 10. The Simple Coffee Cone. The cone is made from ceramic and creates a funnel for your coffee. Simply place your filter inside the cone and after boiling water in another container, pour away. This method produces a solid, standard cup of coffee. 11. The Wonderful AeroPress. For a consistent brew, the AeroPress is another easy-to-carry piece of coffee equipment. Using a special tube and a plunger, the coffee is only stepped for about 15 seconds. Place over a cup or mug, you merely push the coffee through to get your cup. 12. Coffee the Greek way. For some people, Greek coffee seems very similar to Turkish coffee, but with a few notable exceptions. There are two options for the grounds themselves. Either a super finely ground bean or sometimes, Nespresso is used. Many people take this coffee with a great deal of sugar. 13. The Eastern Sock. Almost unheard of in the United States, this form of brewing is popular throughout Asia. The main component is a sock, a high-quality filter that is used to cover up the rim of the coffee pot and keep the grinds out of the water. 14. Vietnamese Coffee with Chicory. In Vietnam, Using small metal filters in the shape of a cup, they pour hot water over regular grinds to produce their brew. 
They add chicory, a woody herb, condensed milk. Combine these two with coffee, and you have coffee the way they have it in Vietnam. 15. The Cowboy Campfire. Our final way of brewing coffee is the camper's brew, take a pot and add some water. Heating it over their fire, they then throw in their coffee grinds, which can be ground with a pulverizing method. Then they let it brew. When it's finished, they pour out the cups. That's it. It might sound a bit crazy, but it makes a good, practical cup. Final considerations. Whether you're just getting into coffee or you've been drinking it for years, it really is important to try different ways to brew. Doing so can really help you explore and understand this art. Well now, with this guide, you really know all the different ways to brew coffee.